Hi, my precious learners. Miss Terry has something so fun that we're going to talk about today. We are going to talk about seeds and we are going to do a little edible experiment and we're going to do an experiment, but we won't get to see the whole seed grow like in one little video. So we'll just kind of watch it over the next couple weeks. All right. The first thing I want to talk about is, as we have done in, in our science class, we were growing sort of above ground. We hit a hydro grower right before we had to leave school and now we're home. So now you guys are just kind of watching um, Miss Tara from our videos. But remember we had some cilantro and we had some dill and I think some basil and we could smell them and we could watch them grow. So we are gonna talk about that because it is springtime and you guys can start to grow some things at your house with mommy and daddy or your brothers and sisters. It's so easy and a lot, a lot of fun. And you can even do it with things that you have at home. Miss Tara's gonna show you. Okay, the first thing we have to think about though is naturally what we need to grow any kind of plant. And I know that you guys know this, but we need our sunshine we need our water, water and we need our dirt which is gonna be our earth I think Blake's gonna help us with this experiment too okay so those are the three things that it takes to grow anything but everything starts from a seed so we got to think about this and you guys are so good at helping me in class when we think about these things our community helper number one that grows lots and lots of our fresh vegetables are farmers and you know when Miss Tara grows up that's what I want to be so our farmers are really really good at turning up the soil they're gonna plant their seeds they know exactly when to plant them and um, they they are gonna make sure that they have lots and lots of water and if there's not enough rain, then they're gonna water their crops. And they're gonna make sure that they plant them during the right season for that type of crop. And they're gonna space them exactly right. Now, Miss Tara's gardens at my house aren't perfect at all like that. And they still seem to grow pretty good. So some things grow underground and some things grow above ground. Today, we're just gonna talk about the things that we, we can grow that we can eat. So something that grows underground. I wonder what that would be. Let's think really hard. You guys really like them. Um, hmm. Potatoes, they grow underground. This guy right here, he grows underground. I don't know if you can really tell, but that's an onion. He grows under the ground. This is a really fun one. Miss Tara really likes this one. This is garlic. Tara cooks with this all the time. They grow under the ground. Something I know you guys bring to school all the time and eat are carrots. And guess what? Our carrots grow underground. There's also shallots, lots of different potatoes. Potatoes make french fries. I know you guys like french fries. Okay. Now there's lots and lots of things that are going to grow underground, but that's just to, just to name a few. A couple that are going to grow above ground that I know that you guys like because you bring them to school all the time. We've got some cucumbers. They grow above ground. Our tomatoes grow above ground. Delicious. Our lettuce grows above ground as you can see it. Our corn grows above ground. Lots and lots of yummy, yummy vegetables grow above ground. So today, squash, um, zucchini, all of those things grow above ground. The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is if you don't have any seed packs at home, like Miss Tara keeps these all the time. So here's my tomatoes. And I've got some of my squash and my zucchini. And I've got my cucumbers. I've also got all of my herbs and Miss Tara loves, loves to cook with herbs. I bring them into school so you guys can smell them. Um, we've got megorium and dill. Dill helps to make, I don't know if you guys, you can mix your dill with some salt and your cucumbers and you can make pickles. Um, oregano, cilantro, 
thyme and basil and basil makes really really good pesto so these herbs can be mixed with a lot of our other foods like our onions and our tomatoes and you can make salsa um, mommy can make like linguine with your vegetables on top you guys eat vegetables every day you guys have the best lunches and the best mommies and daddies ever because I see how delicious and well balanced your all's lunches are so what we want to think about is we need a seed so Miss Tara is just gonna open up our tomato just so that you guys can see it Miss Tara will turn this down a smidge so you can see so if I take the tomato and I open it so we're gonna pull it off of the vine I'm just gonna cut him in half on the inside we have these beautiful seeds so those seeds that are on the inside and mommy can help you cut them um, you could even cut a tomato probably with a plastic knife I'm not sure but no matter what mommy could help you so these seeds are what we could put in our dirt and we're gonna put in our dirt you could actually put this entire piece in the dirt and see what happens or you can just buy your seeds in a packet and you can start with these. If you don't have these at home, and I know right now we're not really shopping and so forth, so if you don't have them at home, I just want you to know that you can easily take the tomatoes that you have bought and do have and you can start with those seeds. Also, you could take one of the garlics and Miss here just peeled it open because when you peel a garlic, which is so fun, which would be a great experiment for you guys at home because it won't hurt you and mommy can just let you take it apart. There are lots of little pods inside, which are so cool. So they kind of look like this. Well, if you let your garlic sit out for a couple of days, your little garlic is gonna start to grow its own little roots. So that gets to what Miss Tira wants to talk about. We get our seed. So if Miss Tira takes our seed out of our tomato, right here i'm going to take it out i'm going to put it into our dirt which is right here it's actually wound up being a couple seeds and then i'm just going to mix it in Miss Tara's going to have really dirty fingers after this and then Miss Tara, of course will water it but from that the first thing that's going to grow from our seeds when they get the sunshine and they get the water is going to be this awesome little root and that root is gonna spring out. And Miss Tara just pulled up a piece right here so you could see the root. It's gonna grow really long down into the dirt and it is what is gonna take in water and it is going to bring the water up. So our seed pod's gonna open up, it's gonna start to grow a root. Then those roots are gonna get deep and they're gonna anchor that plant into the ground and then you're gonna start to see a stem and this is the stem that grows in the center. And then off of our stem, after a couple more days, we're gonna get some leaves, just like this. And then eventually, if we look at our vine, eventually we're gonna have a little flower. And then when that flower falls off, we are gonna have a beautiful, awesome tomato that we can pull up and we can eat it. And you know, we don't really spray anything for pesticides. Miss Tara just grows them. And I just know that a lot of my things are gonna get eaten by different bugs and probably the deer and rabbits. But I try to plant enough that there's always enough for me and for them. And I really, really, really enjoy growing all of our seeds. So Miss Tara is now gonna open up our cucumber. And I know how much you guys like cucumbers too. And look at all of these awesome seeds inside of our cucumber. So now Miss Tara is going to take these seeds from our cucumber and I'm going to put them inside our dirt in another one of these um, boxes. So Miss Tara is going to be a farmer. I'm just going to add him in. And you guys can use your fingers, but because I don't want my fingers to turn completely black for our video, I'm just kind of doing it very fast. So as you can see, now Miss here has got the seeds in. I'm going to mix it up a little bit, and then I'm going to add in some water, and then we're going to put it out in our sunshine so that hopefully our seeds will grow. Now, whenever you are doing seeds, I'm just going to give you this as a word of advice. It's always best to label. And I know that you guys might not want to write it on the side, but you can always, after you, if you have a seed packet, you can always cut a picture out or draw a picture. So
so you know which seed is going to be which because when they first start to sprout you're not going to know what you've got because you're not going to see a tomato for a couple weeks or you might not see a green bean or you might not see your lettuce so it's going to take some time but i think it's a really fun project for you guys to do at home to take your seeds and this here is just going to open up one of our packets so you can see a different kind of seed going to look for a different one. I am going to, oh, and you can start to do your pumpkins as well. Let's see. Maybe one of these. This is our thyme. Miss Tara likes thyme because I put it in our um, fresh made meatballs. We like to do some spaghetti and meatballs and I like to mix all my natural herbs in with it. So I'm just going to take a couple out. Oh, these are so tiny seeds. These are little tiny round seeds. So you can see them just tiny, tiny round seeds. So now Ms. Tier is going to put that right over here. Now, if you don't have one of these cartons, which are just cardboard, you can easily use like um, your egg carton that mommy might have. Um, because I know how much you guys eat eggs and so forth. So they work very, very well. Um, you could use Dixie cups, like paper cups, anything like that. So you just want to get your plants to start growing. And then once you get a solid stem and you can see them, then you can actually put them into the ground. You can take them out of your seed pods and then plant them in the ground because they're going to need a lot more dirt and they're going to need a lot more space to grow because the vines of our tomatoes get really, really big. So, gardening is so much fun and it's super easy and you guys can definitely do it at home. You can take the vegetables that you already have in your fridge right now and you don't even, you can take the seeds straight out of them. If you have a watermelon, and I know how much you guys like watermelon, you might be able to take one of those seeds. And if it's gonna frost, you're gonna have to bring your seeds in. But they're in these trays, so it's gonna be a lot easier to bring them in. I think we're probably good. Um, but, and you can cover them with like a blanket. Here's another fun experiment you guys can do with food. And I know that I love when you guys are always making cute things out of your food, especially at summer camp. But Miss Tara is gonna make a really funny face right here with our cucumber and our squash. And Miss Tara has some tomatoes. So see, I made a face. And remember when we talked about our eyes, we talked about how we had a pupil and then we had your iris and we talked about all the different parts of our eyes and the color of our eyes and how our eyes help us to see. And we think about how we can see our vegetables. We can watch them grow. We can also smell our vegetables, which is also a really great thing. I love when we use our senses in our STEM class to explore everything. Obviously we touch everything in STEM class. And when you guys are burying your seeds in the mud, you might find some big surprises, which I think would be great for Miss Tara to hear about. Um, we're gonna do another layup on sifting through our mud and doing some um, digging for some earthworms and some other creatures that might live in the mud. And I know how much we all really, really enjoy that. I hope that you guys had fun today just looking at our seeds and I hope that you guys can start your gardens. And remember, you can always do them inside. You can put them in a windowsill. We've done beans before that you guys have taken home and you guys have watched the roots come out. We had a, like a little piece of um, cotton and we put them in a Ziploc baggie and you guys just dropped in water and you taped them in the windows. You guys can do that with your seeds as well. You can make it as simple or as elaborate as you want. You can dig up your garden, you and your mommy and daddy, and you should probably have time right now and you can dig it up and put your seeds in and you can do a little fence if you want around it. You can make your own fence. You can do it with your big blocks. You could do it with lots of toys that you have at the house just to try to keep the animals away from it. Um, and then you can send me in pictures and I can see all about it. Have a super great day. I miss you guys. Bye-bye.